This is Tank's Vlog, December 16th, 2019. I know I've been kind of sporadic with these as of late. But, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I'm trying to do the best I can. Hopefully soon my website update will be done. And I could update my site quicker. It takes me two hours now, with as slow as my program runs, to update my website. And that's just been a major hassle. But hopefully things will get better soon and I could start doing vlogs more regularly. Of course, I was at the Giant game today. Uh, Giants-Dolphins. Dolphins lost, but you know, that's actually a good thing these days because you want that better draft pick. And I think now the Dolphins are pretty much assured of having a top five pick. I mean... They might win next week. They have their uh, Bengals in their final home game. And, of course, the Bengals are right now the number one pick. They're on the clock. But the Giants, Dolphins, and uh, Redskins are all there at 3-11. and 11. Two of them play each other next week, so that's an automatic win. So, uh, unless somehow the Dolphins go to Foxborough the final week of the season and win, I can't see them uh, not picking in the top five. Uh, for Giant fans, I think that was a very important win today for them. Um, of course, you want to get the better pick, but you know what? Eli Manning deserved to have that game today. He deserved the fans' adulation. He deserved a chance to finish 500 in his career. And, and, I, and, and, and I, I don't think he'll ever play again. I think this is going to be it. I think this is this is how you want to end it. This is the way to, to do. This is the way to ride off in the sunset. But Daniel Jones playing the last two games. I think Daniel Jones could have played today, but I think somehow the the Giants wanted to just go out there and let Eli have his moment in the sun, and he had his moment in the sun, leading the Giants to a thirty six twenty win over the Dolphins. I mean, two bad teams, but hearing the crowd cheer his name, getting the uh, the curtain call at the end of the game. It just all fit, and this is all what it should have been done. This is how it should have been. This is how it should be handled. Elsewhere in the NFL, we got the Patriots just humiliating the Bengals. I mean, the Bengals just a joke. Thirty-four thirteen was the final of that game. Buccaneers all over the Lions. Thirty-eight seventeen, another three-win team in Detroit. Uh, Buccaneers, oof. they've actually made it back to 500, and the Lions are just the Lions. Packers moved closer to clinching the division, clinched the playoff spot actually today, beating the Bears 21-13, sweeping the Bears. Basically, the Bears are now pretty much toast. And the Packers uh, next week will play the Vikings with a chance to win the division. It was the Texans now taking over first place with a 24-21 win over the Titans. These two teams have played each other twice in the final three games. Chiefs already have the AFC West clinched. In the uh, snow in Kansas City, beat Denver 23-3. It was the Eagles rallying in the fourth quarter again to beat the Redskins 37-27. The Washington Redskins, they had their chances to win this game and they blew it. Seahawks held off a late charge from the Panthers, 30-24. It was the Jacksonville Jaguars scoring 17 unanswered points in the second half to beat the Raiders in the final game played in Oakland. Next year, the Raiders, of course, will be playing in Las Vegas. And not a good way for Oakland to end it as they truly faded and became, as they uh, have basically, from going to a playoff challenger, have faded away in the last few weeks. Cardinals ended their losing streak, beating the Browns 38-24, ending the Browns' playoff hopes. <sighs> the Chargers, the team that doesn't belong in L.A., showed you once again as the setting was taken over by the Viking fans. Sound like a game in Minnesota as the Vikings won the game 39-10, proving that they were not looking ahead to the Packers. Seven turnovers for the Chargers. Seven, and of course, Philip Rivers is blaming everyone else like he normally does. It was the Cowboys showing up and the Rams staying in L.A. as the Cowboys won 
44-21 to keep pace with the Eagles at 7-7 atop the AFC least, NFC least. It was the Falcons shocking the 49ers. What is it that he did to the Falcons? They win these games on the road. They can't play at home. They, 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 they beat the Saints. They beat the fucking Panthers. And that sent the Panthers careening down out of into oblivion. And now they go into San Francisco and beat the 49ers. I just cannot figure the fucking Falcons out. And it was the Bills 17-10 winners clinching, the, clinching a playoff spot. Scoring 10 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. As their defense absolutely, totally smothered the Steelers all night long. NBA. Good showing for the Nets. Uh, they've uh, they had two game losing streak coming in today, but they uh, bounced back in a big way, beating the Seventy Sixers one hundred nine to eighty nine in Brooklyn. Big night for Spencer Dinwiddie with twenty four point six assists in that one. It was the Nuggets one eleven one hundred five winners over the hapless Knicks. The Magic were one thirty one nineteen winners over the Pelicans. The Pacers one hundred seven eighty five winners over the Hornets. Lakers 24-3 continue their toward start, beating the Hawks 101-96. And the Kings over the Warriors, who have just... This has just been a lost season for Golden State. First year in their new uh, arena is going to be just in a, 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 a year where they just... Nothing went right. Still no Stephen Curry. Still injuries aplenty. As they lost to the Kings 179, dropping to 5-23 and on the season, which is more losses they've had in any... Of the last bunch of years. I mean, this has just been just a nightmarish season for the uh, Golden State Warriors. And nobody feels sorry for them. Going to the NHL, limited night. It was the Jets, 7-3 winners over the Flyers. Kings doubled up the Red Wings, 42. It was the Blackhawks, 5-3 winners over the Wild. Patrick Kane, a hat-trick. And... The Golden Knights, 6-3 winners over the Canucks as Max Pacioretty had a 4-point night. Two goals, two assists for Max Pacioretty. Today's three stars are Kenyon Drake of the Cardinals. Four touchdowns on the ground. Jameis Winston and the Bunkadiers. Four touchdowns for the air. And Patrick Kane of the Blackhawks who had that hat trick. Today's birthday shout-out goes to the Fridge. Turned 57. And we take a look back to 1979. When the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just three years after the worst season in NFL history, the expansion 0-14 going 0-26 their first two years, just two years after winning their first game late in the season. Coming in, the Buccaneers had just seven wins total in three years. In 1979, they had ten and won the division on the last day of the season in a monsoon. I mean, this was just heavy rain throughout as they beat the Chiefs three to nothing. Check out the story of the Rainbow, as it was called. And uh, at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.